Do not be so modest. We value your accomplishments very highly. Your stand against the barbarians gives credence to your title of white hero. Can't you see how this current state of confusion within the Kararian forces offers us a great opportunity? Our job is to protect the Zagsans and their land. If the Council wishes to invade another land, do so with your own combat teams. By weakening the Rasslands forces, you ensure the strength of Zagsans, do you not? I might also add that this is a Council decision. It is your duty to serve our will. <sighs> Can we expect you to return immediately to Brass Castle and begin your operations? Captain. Yes, sir. Let me give thanks to our goddess for allowing this occasion to gather here today. Let me give thanks to our goddess for allowing this occasion to gather here today. Chris does not seem like a happy camper. Milady, how did the summons go? They formally promoted me to captain for burning down the Kararian village. And to celebrate the promotion, we were ordered to attack the Lizard Clan. Oh, are we leaving for Brass Castle immediately? It's too late to travel today. We'll sleep here and embark at first light. Yes, my lady. Let me walk you home. I think I'm care uh, I'm completely capable of walking myself to my own home. Thank you very much, Boris. Chris is pissed. Like she just she's like, "Great. You know, they they promoted me for doing it some, something really terrible that I don't agree with." And then and then they Tell me to celebrate by going to attack these people that are awesome. Good night, Lady Chris. I shall call for you in the morning. Or shall I call for you in the morning? Not necessary, but thanks, Boris. Take care of yourself. Don't drink too much tonight and oversleep. You can depend on it. I will behave myself. Welcome home, Lady Chris. Hot bath water is prepared for your hot water is prepared for your bath. I would have contacted you sooner, but I was called back at short notice. No to worry, my lady. We are always here to serve you whenever the need. <laughs> I'm terribly tired. If it is not too much of a bother, might you spare a few minutes, madam? Sure, what do you need? Lady Chris. This coat of arms is... Yes, my lady, this belongs to the Lightfellow family, and... It is. It belonged to my dear father. As you say, my lady. Where did you find it? A grassland boy brought it here in your absence. Don't worry, he was paid fairly for his efforts. A boy from the grasslands. Dun dun dun. Alright, and so ends Chris's chapter one that was actually an unexpected ending to chapter one and we have another chapter one 
that has even yet to, you know, be decided. And that's Gido. So, we shall start his. This is actually the first time we get to see Gido. We didn't get really, really get to see him in, in his prologue, so. Hmm. How can you drink like blah, like that too so early in the morning, you good for nothing fool? Who asked you? I've seen you wasted before noon plenty of times. Not now, though. We're working. Get it? I'm the only reason you can lounge around all day, you know. Gee, thanks. What would we do without you? Mm hmm. Heh. <laughs> By the way, where's the captain? Is he in his room? Think he's in a bad mood? Who knows? He's a hard one to read. Since you're so indispensable, why don't you go up there and see if he's alright? He calls the shots and keeps us fed after all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Random sounds are random. Sorry to bother you, Captain. But we just received orders from headquarters. What do they say? I quote, There are rumors of the Firebringer once again making a move in Northern Grassland. Confirm your situation. Firebringer. It's hard to imagine that a spirit from over 50 years ago could rise up again. What should we do? Should we accept? It's necessary, right? Alright. I'll get right on it and kick their butts into shape. This should help things. Okay, so we're Gido. How are we supposed to check out this Firebringer rumor? Let's put our heads together and come up with a plan. Between the five of us, someone's gotta have at least one good idea. Brainstorming's not my thing. Same here. Oh, come on. Grr. Why do I always have to do everything around here? Well, at least we have a lead. The Firebringer rumor is coming from a village of Esk... Ixay. I say. Ixay. Whatever. That's near the grassland border. And once we cross it, we're in Lizard Clan territory. And... Then we look around. You call that a lead. Well, it's better than going into the grassland with nothing. Besides, we can probably count on the information that Knight gave us. I agree. I guess we'll just have to go. Alright, it's decided. Captain, we should pull out here right away. Right now? Of course, we have to go right now. Fantabulous. Let's get out of here.
Cutscene. Ah, finally, we have a mission. Took everything I had to convince the captain we should go. He takes convincing. He takes convincing, I know. But you're not. But it's not like you. You're an inspiration, either race. I beg your pardon. You think you set a better example sitting on your butt drinking all day? Cut it out, you two. We have to go. So if anybody notices their names, Ace, Joker, Jax, and, uh... Or... Technically, it would be, like, Jacques, but I call him Jax because I don't like the French. <laughs> Or we could just call him Jack. I don't care. But anyway, the only one missing is King, but it's fine. Because we got Queen there, too. Just missing a King for a royal flush. No, I'm kidding. Alright, off to Grasslands. Land of the Wild Barbarians. Say goodbye to lovely Vinay Dolzexe. Right. You're from here, aren't you? You could say that. I was once one of Gilbert's mercenaries. So, is that how you ended up in the Border of Defense Force? There was plenty of reasons. I'm sure you have yours. I suppose. I'm sure Captain Kiddo has gone through a lot more than we have, right, Captain? I don't know. Come on, let's go. I bid a fond farewell to the soft sea breeze of Zaxe and look forward to my return. Unnecessary cutscene is unnecessary. So, we're going to a little village called... I thought we were anyway. Apparently we're not. Apparently we're not heading through where I thought we were. Fun! I'm not quite sure what level these guys are. They're probably a higher level than both Chris's entourage and Hugo's. Because generally Hugo's going to be the uh, the the um, lower level group, while uh, Chris is kind of in the middle. I don't know. His group might be uh, around the same. Yeah, they're around the same. We can actually show you the combo attack now. This is the combo attack. Once we actually get to it, we can probably show you. Nice. Yeah, okay. So they're... So they're about the same as Chris's group. That's fine. Doesn't bother me at all. 